This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game, it's whiteout night in South Deerfield as the Frontier Red Hawks take on the East Hampton Eagles. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Alec Eckel and Megan Selk directly at courtside here at Goodno Gymnasium. Tonight, a very interesting matchup, one with a lot of implications, even though it's an early season game because it's a homecoming of sorts for former Red Hawk Owen Morse who has transferred to East Hampton and will be in the lineup tonight. As you can tell, there's tons of fans out here uh, behind the Frontier bench, and I guarantee you Owen Morris will hear his name a few times tonight, though there have been some threats that uh, people who heckle him directly are going to get into some trouble. But in any event, the Frontier six man is here decked in all white and ready to rock as we are. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. As again, early season... No implications in terms of playoff seedings, but certainly a rivalry match and one that's going to be an interesting contest on a number of levels. Let's go to the floor for the starting lineups. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Eagles from East Hampton High School. The Denver High Schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now, for tonight's starting lineups, for East Hampton at number five, David Conrad. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com, Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. 
visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Well, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. And you heard in the opening when they announced Owen Morris as a starter, you heard the reaction from the Frontier sixth man. I don't think I've seen a student section this large at a Frontier regular season game in quite some time. And they're going to be heard from a lot tonight. As this is going to be uh, a battle of a couple of teams that have a lot of speed, play hard defense. Interesting lineup change for Frontier. Owen Walkowitz is the center, and Peter Carey is the power forward. And, P and, and Peter Carey, as we know, is, has been and historically one of the better swingmen in Western Mass High School basketball. This year, this is his team in many ways, even though he's only a junior. And he's jumping center. And the tip is controlled by Frontier up ahead to Hoffman. On the left side, Donovan now with the ball. Hoffman in the middle to Morris. Right side to Peter Carey. PK bounces in the middle. And it's going to be a reach-in foul early on as they're going to get Sean Sabarin for that one. His first, team's first. And you can't do that. <laughs> you can hear a lot of that tonight from the sixth man. Great atmosphere tonight on this Friday before Christmas. Peter Carey, turnaround, hook shot. Misses badly, rebound controlled by East Hampton. Outlet pass, it goes as the Eagles. It's Nate Morse, left side. And now in the middle it goes to Cullen back. Cullen back trying to drive through, bounce pass in the baseline. Shot up, missed. Well defended by Carey. Outlet pass, up ahead. Hoffman in the middle. Robinson for three, front of the iron, no good. Rebound controlled by East Hampton. Cross court it goes to Collinback. Collinback drives through and partially blocked on the way up by Carey. The putback no good. A couple of whacks at him, another shot, and then they finally do hit it as Sabarin makes a count. 2 0 East Hampton and a quick timeout by the East Hampton coaching staff. We'll take the break. 7 0 1 to go in the first quarter. East Hampton 2, Frontier nothing. This is Red Hawk basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. So first year head coach Jason Monahan came flying off the bench before that timeout. He did not like what he saw under the basket. And certainly Peter Carey was uh, defending very, very quickly. And they tried to go up over him a couple of times. And I'm pretty sure Monahan told his guys, stay away from that. That's not gonna work for us. He's too big to try and shoot over. And we'll see if they adjust their offensive sets accordingly. Deshaun now with the inbound pass. From Brett Robinson, and here come the Red Hawks. Michon goes right side to Hoffman. Dehoff in the middle to Robinson. Brett left side to Michon. Michon runs across court. Peter Carey top of the key. PC drives through. Shut off. Turn around jumper. Front of the iron, no good. Rebound controlled by East Hampton. Here come the Hawks. Owen Morris trying to split the lane. A running one hander, no good. Morris follows the rebound, gets fouled. And the foul is going to be on Owen Morris, I think. A lot of contact on that second effort. And uh, the Hawks will bring it back up the floor. Mashawn now with the ball. Mashawn trying to go right side. Now goes the other way to Hoffman, working a bit of a weave. Hoffman pulls it back in three-point land. He likes that shot. Walkowitz now top of the key, and he traveled. A lot of emotion on both sides of the ball in this game. And that actually was not a foul on Morse. That was just a turnover on the other end. So no, no fouls yet committed by, or one foul committed by East Hampton, none by Frontier. Eagles winging the ball around. Now a deep three. It ain't Morse from way outside. Five nothing Frontier. That was an NBA three. Michonne now. Spins away from Morris. Goes right side, and it's going to be a reach-in foul. Is going to be called, I believe, on Nate Morris. That'll be his first team second, non-shooting. Off an inbounds to Michonne. 
Ethan Michon, the junior point guard, with the ball now. <clears throat> Goes to Peter Carey at the circle. Left side to Robinson. Robinson in the corner it goes to Walkowitz. Now a three ball by Bashan. Bank it, no good. Rebound controlled by Hoffman. Comes away with it. Fresh 30 for Frontier to Peter Carey. Carey goes around everyone. Stabs it home. Peter Carey with a statement bucket. And it's 5-2. Owen Morse. Deep three. No. Carey the rebound. Here come the Hawks again. Robinson the head pass. He gets blown out by Morse. As that was good contact, there was no foul there, but wow, did Robinson go flying. Bodies flying everywhere, fans on their feet. And we're only three minutes into this thing. Owen Morris gets the inbound pass. Crosses half court. Over to Nate. Nate, now in the middle it goes to Brown. Brown. And spun back out to Owen Morris. Morris trying to drive through. And they're going to call a foul on the floor, away from the basketball. And that is going to be, I believe, the first foul on Frontier. And it's going to be on, on uh, Mashan, his first, team's first. Ian Spirance checks into the game now for Frontier. Morse, three-point air ball. And a foul under the basket. Actually, out of bounds as Sabarin couldn't control the loose ball. Carey inbounds to Spirance, the sophomore now, running the point. Spirance, left side to Robinson, or to Hoffman, rather. Now to Robinson on the corner, three-pointer. Rims out, no good. Carey comes over for the rebound, using that great height. Kicks it back out for three, Robinson. Book it! We're tied at five. Now East Hampton with the basketball. Kick back outside. Brown drives through off the glass, no good. Ball tipped out to Sperance. Sperance up ahead to Robinson, too far ahead over his head. And we're going back the other way. 5-5, 4-0-8 to go in period one at a raucous good no gymnasium. Glad to have it for you on Frontier Community Access Television. As Cullen back now. Now bounce pass, top of the key, handed back to Morris. No, stolen away. Great play there by Frontier, by Spirance. Now Spirance has it at the circle. Spirance being guarded by Nate Morris. Hand check foul as Nate Morris got a little too close to Spirance. And you cannot do that is the call. And that's two quick fouls on Nate Morris. And he's going to have to come off. Sean Richter inbounding in front of us, just into the game, into Spirance. Back to Richter. Richter, he'll take the three. He'll hit it! Richter just stepped up and said, I'll take that, thank you very much. 8-5 Frontier with their first lead. 3.31 to go first quarter. Now working a weave. Owen Morris with it now for East Hampton. Morris pushes it off. Quick pass on the baseline, layup and in by Sean Saber, a nice feed there from Valancourt. 8-7, Frontier by one. Spirance now, running it up. Spirance, this is out. Hoffman, three ball! Back iron, no good. Battle for the rebound, controlled by East Hampton. Hollenbach, up ahead to Daldrill. Now Brown with it. Brown, and we're gonna have a Foul away from the ball. And that's going to be on Frontier. That's going to be the first foul on Spirance. Team second. Owen Morris to throw it in for East Hampton. Owen, of course, a former Red Hawk. Throws it in to Collinback. Back to Morris. Morris spins back away, being guarded very, very closely. Now Morris gets a lane. Slot it away! by Peter Carey. Get that out of my house, says Peter Carey. What a block. That will wake up the fans as if they aren't, weren't already awake. 
Jawhill to throw it in for East Hampton. This place is on fire tonight. Morris now with it. On the elbow for three. Back iron, no good. Carry the rebound. Here comes PK. He's going through. He'll slam it home. Bigger carry. Two dunks in a row for the big man. 10-7, Frontier by three. Deep three ball. Answered nicely by East Hampton. That was calling back from way outside. Timeout on the floor. We'll take the break. No, wait a minute, actually, stand by. We got, no, that was actually a foul. It was not a timeout, excuse me. The ball will go in in front of the Frontier bench. We're going to get Mashawn back into the game. Peter Carey has thrown down two in this game and blown this place up. So Robinson out, Mashawn back in, also into the game. Jake Kaneski, the sophomore, with the basketball for Frontier. Left side to Donovan Hoffman. Hoffman. Looking for Peter Carey. Gets him on the baseline, and we got a foul underneath the basket before the shot. And it's going to be going the other way. Actually, it was not a foul. I think it was a carry. We're tied at 10. Two minutes to go, first quarter. Owen Morse with the basketball. It's top of the key now, East Hampton. Big three. Air ball out of bounds. And Colin Back is going to hear it. Hoffman inbounds to Mashawn. Ethan Mashawn, the junior. Right side to Donovan Hoffman. Back to Mashawn. Mashawn to Haneski. Left side to Hoffman. Hoffman bounce pass to Carey on the baseline. Carey goes around, lays it up and in. A reverse layup, and Carey has six points in this game, and Frontier has the lead back, 12 to 10. Owen Morris with the ball now. Morris. Bounce pass left side. And kicked back out to the top of the key. Morris now has it on the right side. Morris trying to work. Gets a lane and gets fouled on the way through. They're going to get, I believe, Michon. Got, got a bit of a hand. And again, we're non-shooting. They're actually going to give that to Sean Richter, the foul. So Richter gets the foul. Third team foul on Frontier. Dodrill throws it in. Valencourt now on the right side, shot, air ball again. Up ahead to Spirits, Ian Spirits in the middle to Michon. Michon to Carey, Carey in the paint, turnaround jumper off the glass and in! Peter Carey has got eight points. And Frontier has a four point lead, their largest. In the middle of Owen. Morse trying to work. We'll take a deep three. He'll miss badly. Rebound controlled by Sparence. Michon now. Bounce pass. No look on the baseline. Lays it up and in. What a pass by Michon. As he found Richter breaking. 16-10. Three ball from the corner does not go. Rebound by Brown. And he gets fouled on the way up. Looks like he was shot by an elephant gun. But... A little bit of play acting there, I think. Richter didn't hit him that hard. And we're going to have a couple of shots here for Michael Brown, the senior forward. That's two quick fouls on Sean Richter for Frontier. First shot is good. Brown second. Will miss. Carry the rebound. Outlet pass to Michon. 12 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Frontier with a 16-11 lead. Carey now with it on the baseline. Trying to move. Triple teamed outside. Three ball by Robinson. Bank is no good. Carey the putback hook is no good. And that is how a very exciting first quarter will end. We played one quarter from Goodnote Gymnasium. At the end of one, it's Frontier 16, East Hampton 11. This is Red Hawk Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. 
In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Second quarter upcoming, but you'd have a tough time matching that first quarter for intensity. That was probably the most <laughs> intense first quarter we've seen in an opening game of high school basketball since Front Cat, FCAT's been doing these games. And again, a lot of storylines in this one, not the least of which is the return of Owen Morse, who's now playing for the East Hampton Eagles. And every time he touches the ball, you're hearing noise coming from the Frontier sixth man. Pass goes inbound to Sabarin. Colin back now with it for East Hampton. They're working a weave now. Owen. One more strives through. Blocked on the way up by Peter Carey. They're going to get Carey for a foul, though. A lot of contact. And it's going to be two shots for Owen Morse. Actually, they gave that foul. They gave that foul to Walkowitz. Morse misses the first, so Walkowitz's first foul, 15 foul for Frontier. Morse's second shot. And that doesn't go. He misses them both. Rebound Robinson. Robinson now with the ball. Bringing it up. Left side to Peter Carey on the elbow. Carey runs across court to Michon. Over to Robinson on the right elbow. Robinson looking for someone to pass to, finds Walkowitz. Walkowitz finds Carey on the baseline, lays it up and in. Peter Carey, the power forward, has 10 points. More than half of his team's points in this game. 18-11, Frontier by seven, their largest lead. Morse hands it off. And this is back over to Owen. In the middle it goes. And they dish it off to Dottel and it's stolen away. Hoffman goes through everybody, lays it up too strong, no good. Put back by Carey is no good. Battle for the rebound underneath. Brown and Hoffman are hooked up. Possession arrow of favor, Frontier. And they'll get a fresh shot clock under the basket. Michonne now. To throw it in for the Hawks, looking for Carey. Finds Walkowitz in the baseline. Jumper does not go. Carey the rebound. And Carey gets fouled. And let's see who they get. Probably on Sabarin. And it was Sabarin. His second team's fifth. So Sabarin's got two. Inbound pass. It goes to Walkowitz. Robinson for three. Good! <laughs> Nate Dog with his second three ball. And just like that, Frontier leads by 10. 21-11. Dodrill with it now. Dodrill. Left side to Brown. Over to Collinback. Collinback looking to feed Morse. Goes cross court to Brown. Brown. Back over to Collinback. Collinback driving through. Loses control. Walkowitz up ahead to Robinson. Too far ahead, though. And Robinson punches the backboard. And we're going back the other way. Morse now with it. Owen up ahead to Colin back. Back to Morse. Top of the key. Now Brown with it. Brown hands it off. Morse with it now. Morse pull up jumper. Top of the key. Spins out. Rebound controlled by Carey. Out to Michon. Ethan Michon driving through, tries to bounce pass, and it's going to be a kick, so we'll have a reset as Sabarin kicked the ball. 5.49 to go in the half, 10 point lead for Frontier, 21 to 11. On whiteout night here at Goodno Gymnasium. It looks like Ethan Michon is sitting down. He might have gotten, he, went, he kind of fell hard, I think. So Michon's going to have to come off as he's over at the Frontier bench. And checking into the game is Ian Spirance. 
Ian Spearance, I believe is how he pronounces that. He will throw it in for the Hawks. Back out to Donovan Hoffman. Hoffman's a three-point threat. Walkowitz now back to Hoffman at the ring. Left side of Robinson. He's got a couple of trays in this game. Lobs it over to Carey. Carey drives through. Dishes at the baseline. Lays it up. No good. Carey the putback. No good. Short-armed it. And the rebound battle for it. Rashawn hits the floor. Hoffman's there. Colin back at the floor. Excuse me. And we're going the other way as the possession arrow favors East Hampton. Dodrill now with it. Carter Dodrill running the point for East Hampton. Hands off to Brown on the weave. And a steal. Robinson got hit. No foul called. Three-pointer. Spins out by Cullenback. Out of bounds. Frontier. Oh, we don't, East Hampton will keep it with a fresh 30, actually. Dodrill to throw it in. A lot of contact. Robinson wanted the foul call. Wasn't going to get it. Dodrill trying to throw it in, lobs it back out. Now Morris with it. Morris tries to go cross court, pulls back. Morris gets a pick. Morris driving through, lays a swan again by Peter Carey. Two blocks on Owen Morris. Carey now with it, tries to drive through, loses control. This is back to Walkowitz, baseline. Now Walkowitz gets it back, running one hander is no good. Rebound control by East Hampton. Here come the Eagles. Cullen back, pull up jumper, spins out, no good. Brown the putback, no good. Carry the rebound. East Hampton having trouble putting the bucket in, the ball in the bucket lately. And Ian Sperance with it now. Sperance right side to Hoffman. Hoffman driving through in the baseline. Pulls it back, loses control. Throws it back out to Robinson, nearly stolen. Robinson gets it back. Three pointer, no good, spins out. Rebound controlled by East Hampton. Morris. He'll pull up for three. No good. Rebound controlled, though, by the Eagles. Dodrill with it. Dodrill working on Hoffman. Hands off to Collinback. Collinback drives through. Collinback to the baseline. Stolen back, though. And Carey now has it. Out to Walkowitz. Walkowitz brings it up for Frontier. Walkowitz to Hoffman. Left side it goes. Robinson for three. Good! Three threes! for Brett Robinson in this half. And the Frontier leads 13, their largest. Colin back hands to Morris. Morris gets the screen. Morris still trying to drive on Carey. That time he got by Carey, but just spun out on him. Rebound Hoffman. Donovan brings it up to Carey. Carey trying to drive through. Kicks it back outside to Robinson for three. That one spun back out. Rebound controlled by East Hampton. Up ahead. Pull up jumper by Dodrill in the lane. No good. Carry the rebound. East Hampton's had a terrible quarter shooting. They have not scored a point in this second quarter. Hoffman now with it. Dehoff looking for Carey at the circle. Left side it goes. Walkowitz down on the elbow. Walkowitz takes the jumper. Spuns out. Rebound carry. Carry a jumper from the same spot. Count it! And a foul away from the play. So it's the bucket will count for carry. Or will it? It will count. And a timeout on the floor will take the break. 2.45 to go in the half. Frontier by 15. Red Hawks 26. East Hampton 11. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Eckel, and Megan Self out here at Goodo Gymnasium. It's been a wild, wild first half as the Frontier Redhawks lead the East Hampton Eagles by a score of 26 to 11. And uh, East Hampton, there has been a, a lid on the bucket in this quarter. They have not scored a point. They have not scored anything since they put up 11 in the first quarter. And you're not going to win against the Frontier with uh, that kind of performance. So it's a 10 0 run right now for the Redhawks here in their home gym on the return of Owen Morris who was a three point machine for Frontier last few years has choiced to East Hampton 
And so far he has had a rough night. No points for Owen Morris. Opportunities blocked twice by Peter Carey. But he's definitely the guy they're going to and will continue to go to in this game. And Morris has it right now. Loses control of it to the backcourt. It was tipped, though, so it's no backcourt violation. Spearance is on him. Spearance chasing Morris up to the left elbow. Hands it off. <coughs> That's Nate Morris now back into the game with the two fouls to Brown. Brown. And the shot clock goes off. He got the shot off and a fresh 30. Falling back again, shot no good. Rebound, Walkowitz. And they're going to get a foul on East Hampton, I believe. As clearing out with the elbow was number 13, Tommy Valencourt. And that's 16 fouls, his first. One more, and we're in the bonus for Frontier. 2.05 to go in the half. Peter Carey now gets the inbound pass. Hands it back off to Spirance. Ian Spirance now with it, calls the play. Crosses half court to Carey. Left side to Donovan Hoffman. Hoffman. Carey for the layup. The alley-oop is no good. Oh, just missed it. Rebound to Morris. Morris threads the needle to Brown. And then finally, East Hampton gets their first bucket with 1.41 to go in the quarter. And a hand check on Morris again. That's going to be on Nate, I believe. And that's going to be three on him, and that's going to be a one and one. No, you can't do that. Spirance is going to shoot a one and one. First one is no good. Brown the rebound for the Eagles. Outlet pass that goes to Collinback. Collinback with it. Collinback in the corner to Brown. Brown back to Collinback. Cross court. And up faking. Valencourt tries to go through. Partially blocked by Carey. And a foul. And they're going to get Colin back. He's one of the captains on this team. And Colin back commits his first foul. Team's eighth. And we've got a one and one on the other end. And Ian Spirits will shoot. Frontier by 13. His first shot is good. Experience will get one more. Checking into the game is Gabe Gachinski. And checking out is Brett Robinson. So swapping out three-point threat for three-point threat. Robinson has nine points, three threes in this game. Experience's second one. Bounces around, doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Brown and a foul under the basket. And they're going back the other way, and I believe it's Walkowitz that's going to get the ticket for that one. The way he's protesting, yep, that's his second. And so we'll have a one-and-one one for Brown on the far end. That has got to be the biggest cheering section for Frontier I've seen in a long time. First one is no good. Carry the rebound. Outlet pass to Spirance. Spirance now runs it up. Spirance to Carey. Carey back out to Wachinski. Back to Spirance. Spirance bounce pass to Walkowitz. Walkowitz pull up jumper. And the baseline no good. Carey the putback is good. 12 points for Peter Carey in this first half. 29-13. Frontier back by 16. Brown now with it for East Hampton. Brown missed, fired the pass. The pass was intended for Cullen back, but he got he slipped, it looked like, and the pass went over his head. So not a great second quarter for East Hampton in terms of offensive output or cohesiveness. Ian Spirance now with it. Spirance, right side to Hoffman. Hoffman to Gachinski. Gachinski, deep three. Banks, no good. Walkowitz the rebound, kicks it back out to Hoffman. Dehoff. Baseline to Carey. Carey, reverse layup is good for Peter Carey. 31-13, largest lead so far for Frontier. 16 seconds left, shot clock is off. Travel! 
as Nate Morris took an extra step. And East Hampton, it has come off the rails for them in this second quarter as it's been all Red Hawks in this second frame. Spearance gets the inbound pass again. Shot clock is off. 11 seconds to play. Spearance to Walkowitz. Carey, turnaround jumper in the paint. Air ball. Rebound controlled by East Tempton. Collenbach fires it up. Hits the rim but does not go. And that is how we will end the first half. We played one half of basketball from Good Joe Gymnasium. And on the scoreboard, it's Frontier 31, East Hampton 13. Second half action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com, Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Back out here at Good Note Gymnasium, Chris Collins, Alec Eckel, Megan Self. Frontier Red Hawks lead the East Hampton Eagles by a count of 31-13 here at the halftime break. Uh, East Hampton scored 11 points in the first quarter, only two in the second, and uh, the Frontier Red Hawks had a pretty consistent uh, offensive output 16 points in the first half, 15 in the second. Leading all scorers in the game, Peter Carey with 16 points, including two monster dunks and a couple of big blocks. Nine points for Brett Robinson, three threes. Five points for Sean Richter and a foul shot for Ian Spirits. For the East Hampton Eagles, four points for Sean Sabarin. Also three points each for Gabe Collinback, Nate Morse, and Michael Brown. No points as yet for Owen Morse, and that has been the storyline in this one. Owen Morse, of course, was uh, one of the really solid players for Frontier the last couple of years. A three-point specialist, a good offensive player, good all-around player, and he has apparently <laughs> transferred through school choice to East Hampton, and, uh, which is one of the reasons, I think, that you see such so many students out here tonight. The Frontier sixth man on whiteout night, probably as active and large a crowd as we've seen for an early regular season game, probably as long as we've been doing these games for FCAP. East Hampton has yet to come out on the floor. Frontier is out taking their warm-ups. We want to thank uh, some of our underwriters for tonight's game, Attorney Dan Graves, also Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton, and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. As I mentioned, the big gun for Frontier, as expected, has been... Uh, Peter Carey. Now, Carey was a forward last year, and I think for part of the season played center. He started as a power forward tonight, and Owen Walkowitz has started in the middle. But Carey has done a little bit of everything tonight in terms of, uh, of, the, of course, the two monster dunks and, of course, the defense and a couple of block shots. He's had at least three and a half, maybe four blocks in this game, uh, and two of them with authority on Owen Morse, who is going to have to, I think, find a way to get his team going offensively if they want to have a chance of winning this basketball game because right now they are in a, a rough spot against a very a very hot frontier team and a team that uh, clearly is active on both ends of the basketball. First year coach for East Hampton, Jason Monahan, is out there right now talking to his guys. I'm assuming they're going to make some adjustments and do what they can to keep the ball away from Carey. Uh, just not a lot of offensive flow in that first, the second quarter for East Hampton. And we'll see if uh, they can turn things around a little bit as East Hampton will move 
right to left to start this second half. Ben Barshevsky has got to be happy with the way his kids controlled themselves and played with a passion and emotion in that first half. And a couple of chippy moments, nothing too serious. We'll see if uh, what the emotional situation is like in this second half as we get ready to start. Donovan Hoffman to inbound it in front of us. And we are underway second half. Into carry, back to Hoffman. Hoffman drives left side and took an extra step as he slipped. And... East Hampton will get the ball back on an early turnover by the Red Hawks. Nate Moore storing it in. He's got three fouls in this game. Gabe Collenbach now bringing it up for the Eagles. Collenbach hands off to Morris. And pull up jumper, no good. Rebound pulled down by Collenbach, deep rebound. And Collenbach loses control of it, and we're going the other way. Ryan Spearance now with it. Spearance is out there along with Robinson, Peter Carey, Hoffman, and Walkowitz. Right side it goes. Now in the corner to Walkowitz. Walkowitz looking for an alley-oop. Goes over the head of Carey. Now a three ball. Misses badly from the other side. Walkowitz the rebound and gets fouled on the way up. And my guess is this is going to go against Sabarin. And if so, that's his third. Yep, three on Sabarin. Team's first. Walkowitz looking for his first points of the game. First shot is good. He will get one more. Ethan Michon went out with an injury in the first half. We have not seen him return. He was part of the starting five, not out there now. So Walkowitz makes them both. 33-13, Frontier by 20, their largest lead. Michon now with it. Or Colin back, rather, excuse me. Goes cross court to Dodrill. Dodrill. Back over to Colin back. Colin back spins away from Robinson. Stolen by Hoffman. Dehoff. Off to the races. Lays it up. Too strong. Walkowitz the rebound. Keeps it alive to Robinson to carry. Carry. Loses control on the baseline. Put up and in by a breaking Walkowitz. 35-13, forward one to start this half by the Red Hawks. Dodrill now with it. To Morris. Morris loses control. And it's tipped into the backcourt, so no backcourt violation. In the corner it goes to Brown. Brown up fakes. Drives through, stops. This is it back off. And now Dodrill with it. Running a weave again to Brown. Brown, jump step. Left side, and that's going to be a shot clock violation as Frontier had him hemmed in. No opportunity to get, even get a shot off. So Frontier defensively solid again. Experience has to come back for it, and they inbound it to Walkowitz. Owen crosses the timeline. Hands off to Robinson. Robinson looking for some help. Goes to Hoffman. Hoffman in the middle to Walkowitz, top of the key. And he took an extra step. I don't think Owen knew he took the extra step. He was a little surprised. Turnover, and East Hampton will get the ball back in front of the Frontier bench. Morris will inbound right in front of the Frontier six man. That's got to be comfortable. Inbound to Colin back. Left side it goes to Daudrill. Back in the middle to Brown. Brown hands it off to Colin back. Colin back, a wicked deep three. Back iron, no good. I'm surprised it even made it. That was a really, really deep shot, and we're going back the other way. 35-13, 5.43 to go, third quarter. Frontier with the basketball and the lead. Inbound to Robinson, and Spearance now with it. Ian Spearance being guarded closely by Dodrill. Top of the key to Walkowitz. Left side to Hoffman. Donovan, Dehoff. Threads the needle to Robinson. Back out to Hoffman. 15 to shoot. Hoffman to Carey on the elbow. Carey drives through and gets blocked. And if that's on Sabarin, that's his fourth. As he tried to front up. No, they didn't give it to Sabarin. It's a break for East Hampton. 
It's actually Michael Brown that got his first foul, team second. And Peter Carey at the line to shoot. His first one does not go. Carey's second shot upcoming. And that spins out. And so misses them both. Brown the rebound. Outlet to Owen. Morris now being guarded. Closely by Ian Spirits. A pull-up pop by Morris. Front of the iron. No good. And a foul over the back. As I'm pretty sure they're going to get Brown. Came over the top of Carey trying to get that. And you cannot do that. That's two quick fouls on Brown. Spirits now gets the inbound pass from Dodrill. Spins away. Spirits. No look pass. Over, actually it was tipped off of the East Hampton player, they say, so it's gonna stay East Hampton, or Frontier Basketball. I thought it was clearly just an errant pass, but not, so Frontier will keep it. Robinson will inbound. Back into the game is Richter, sitting down is Spirits. Also back in is Jay Kineski. Three-pointer for uh, Richter is no good. And a rebound controlled by East Hampton. Owen Morse now. Wanted to split through, and it's going to get a hand check foul on Robinson. And Robinson pats Morris on the chest, former teammates. That's going to be, actually, the foul is going to be on Donovan Hoffman, his second. Inbound pass to Morris. Morris with Hoffman in his shirt to Brown. Brown kicks it back. Sabarin, jumper on the baseline is no good. Rebound control by Haneski. Up ahead to Carey. Carey goes through and slams it. Good night, Irene. Rims it down and count the bucket and a foul. And the sixth man loved it. Every second of it. Oh, mommy. And that's three fouls on Brown in the span of about 90 seconds. So Brown, one of the better East Hampton players out there, and they have not scored a point in this quarter, or this half. Foul shot is no good. Up ahead by Cullen back now with it. Cullen back to Brown. Brown, top of the key. Hands off to Dodrill. Back to Cullen back. Cullen back, pull up jumpers, no good. Ice cold. Maneski with the outlet pass. Right side it goes. Three-pointer, no good. Carries there to clean up the glass. And he's got 20 points. And we're on the road to Blowout City here. 26-point lead. East Hampton has not scored in this quarter. They've scored two points since the end of the first quarter. Morse, top of the key. Bounce pass to Collinback on the baseline. Blocked on the way up. Collinback hits the floor. He's hurt. Robinson brings it back up. Cross court to Hoffman. Dehoff. For three. No, it's spun out. He had all the time in the world to shoot that ball. Morris now. Goes right side to Colin back. In the middle to, to Dodrill. Dodrill tries to dish it in the baseline, and it's stolen by Carey. Carey runs it through. Carey goes up, lays it up. No good. Rebound control by East Hampton. Brown now. Up the right side. Three-point bomb. And it's spun up over the backboard Colin Beck shot did. So no points again. Robinson is out. And Aiden Hernandez, the junior, seeing his first minutes into the game for Frontier. Inbound to Haneski. Donovan Hoffman running the point now for the Hawks. Dehoff goes right side to Hernandez. Hernandez in the middle to Haneski. Left side to Hoffman. Hoffman. Down low, they're looking to try and feed Carey. And they do on the baseline, and Carey gets fouled going on the way up. And if that is on Brown, that is his fourth. And Brown has had four fouls in the span, like I said, of less than three minutes. And yes, it is his fourth. Fifteen foul for East Hampton. Two shots for Peter Carey. First one does not go. We'll get one more. They got to get Brown out of there. With the four fouls, but maybe oh, they're going to leave him in there, it looks like. Oh, he's going to come off. That's smart. Too good of a player to lose him to fouls in the third quarter. 
Tommy Valencourt comes in for him. Also into the game for East Hampton, Ryan O'Donnell. Second shot. Spins out, no good. So he missed, missed them both. And East Hampton bringing the ball up. Owen Morse. Owen, NBA three. Air ball. And he's going to hear it. Haneski now with it. Right side to Hoffman. Back to Haneski. A little give and go to Carey on the baseline. Carey goes up. Gets it back. Lays it up and in. Got fouled on the way up. No call. He'll take the second effort. 22 points for the big man. 2.26 to go in the third quarter. 41-13 Frontier. Morse. Tried to dish it off. Just a bad pass. Out of bounds. Although he was heavily defended. East Hampton coming apart at the seams. They have not scored a point since late in the second quarter. 41-13. Jay Kaneski spins away. Haneski, right side. Hernandez back to Haneski. Left side to Hoffman. Hoffman to Hernandez for three. Back iron no good. Rebound Morse. Two minutes to go in the third. Morse. Pull up three ball. Does not go. Rebound pulled down by Richter. Outlet to Haneski. Up to Hoffman. Dehoff. Trying to drive the lane. Shut off and fouled on the way through. And I think they're going to get Valencourt for this one. And Donovan Hoffman will shoot two here. And yes, that is actually the... No, they gave it to Owen Morse. That's Morse's first foul. Six on the team. Hoffman's first shot is no good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves. Also, Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television and Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Peter Carey gets a break. He's been on the floor the whole game. Second shot by Hoffman is good. And Dehoff will come off. And replacing him is Gabe Gachinski. So the Frontier Reserves largely making up the lineup. And Gachinski is going to get caught with a hand check foul. Pretty ticky tack, it looked like to me. His first, team second. Inbounds to Morse. Owen now with it. Being guarded by Gachinski. Morse crosses half court. Morse spins away. Bounce pass top of the key to Sabarin. Sabarin will take a three. He will miss a three. Haneski the rebound. Up ahead to Gachinski. Back to Haneski. Haneski stops, pulls back. Over to Richter. Back over to Aiden Hernandez. Hernandez being guarded closely. Back over to Richter. To Gachinski, 10 to shoot. And he gets stolen. Ripped the ball out by, by Morse. Morse fouled on the way up. As Haneski was not going to allow the uncontested layup. So Owen Morse will go to the line with 103 to go in the third quarter looking for East Hampton's first points of the second half. As amazing as that is to, to believe, they have not scored in this half. And he misses the first. Six man loves it. Morris's second shot. Morris has not had a point in this game. Now he does. Nolan Morris, a foul shot. First point of the half with one minute to go in the half. Hernandez, left side to Gachinski. Back in the middle to Richter. Richter trying to drive through. Kicks it back to Walkowitz. Foul on the way through. We'll see who they get. If it's Saber and it's four for him. It's two shots for Richter either way. No, a foul is going to be on Owen Morris, his second. That's the seventh team foul, so Frontier's in the bonus the rest of the way. Richter's first shot is good. He'll get one more. Second one, spins out. Rebound, Sabarin. Morris now brings it up. Owen. To Sabarin in a high post. Back to Morris, right side. 
And they're going to get a foul on Gachinski on a hand check. His second, team's fourth. Morse will inbound in front of the East Hampton bench. Bounce pass into Cullenback. Cullenback back to Morse. Morse, top of the key, pulls it back to the ring. Morse again pulls it back. Right side to Hollenbach. Hollenbach. In the middle it goes to Valen, or O'Donnell rather, and O'Donnell is fouled on the way through. And that's going to be, I believe, on Hernandez. 22.4 seconds to go in the third quarter. Hernandez first, team's fifth. Morris to throw it in. He does to Kallenbach. Kallenbach in a high post to Savarin. And it back to Kallenbach. Kallenbach to Morris. Morse being guarded by Gachinski. Morse pull up jumper from 12. Count it and one as Morse got fouled on the way up. And that's going to be the third foul on Gachinski. And Owen Morris has an opportunity for a three point play with 11 seconds left. So the, the field goal and the foul shot, the only three points of the half by East Hampton. And he Misses the foul shot. Rebound controlled by Hernandez. Up ahead to Gachinski. Gachinski for three. No. And Kallenbach gets fouled as he was falling on by Walkowitz. Coming back up the floor. So East Hampton will keep the ball. Walkowitz, well actually we're going to have a, a one and one on the far end as that was the seventh team foul. And the third one on Walkowitz. And Gabe Cullenbach, one of the two captains on this team in his junior season. First shot is good. He'll get one more. Cullenbach has one three-pointer in this game and four points total with that foul shot. Second shot is good. He makes them both. 43-18. And that will do it in the third quarter. We have played three from Good No Gymnasium at the end of three quarters. It's Frontier 43, East 10th and 18. Fourth quarter action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins, Alec Echo, and Megan Self here at Good No Gymnasium. Fourth quarter action upcoming, barring a miraculous comeback. Frontier is probably going to win this game. And they have been solid throughout, and they have been consistent in their scoring in all three quarters. The same cannot be said for East Hampton, who managed to put up five points in that third quarter, three of which were foul shots. One field goal by Owen Morse, who's inbounding the ball. Well, he was going to inbound it, but Peter Carey said no. So we'll try again. Morris will try it again. And is able to get it into Collenbach. Collenbach, trouble team, in big trouble. Throws it cross court. And a shot off the glass, no good by O'Donnell. Now Collenbach spots up for three, spins out, no good. Off in the rebound. Alex Ion Spirits. Spirits now with it, calls the play. 
Bounce pass to Richter, to Hoffman. Hoffman looking for Carey. Carey, double teamed. On the baseline, dishes it off, laying it up and in. On the baseline was Sean Richter. Now the Frontier, or East Hampton with the basketball, O'Donnell in the middle. It goes to Robbins. Will Robbins runs cross court, working a weave again. Back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell trying to work on Hoffman. Bounce pass in the baseline, laying it up and in. Nicely was Sabarin over Peter Carey. You don't see that every day. Sparence now. Crosses half court. Sparence. Bounce pass, top of the key to Richter. Richter trying to work. And Carey's shot on the baseline is no good. Owen Morse, the rebound. Owen Morse on the left side. Morse driving through, lays it up and in. Count it and one! As Owen Morse saw a seam on the baseline, gives Carey a little bump. He's holding his side as he goes to the foul line. And that was just good quickness by Owen Morse. And that's actually going to be the, a foul on Hoffman. And the overrated chant goes up, which is not going to please the administration of this school, I don't think. And Morse hits the three-point play. 46-23, 45-23 rather. Frontier with the lead by 22. And dishes off to Robinson. Robinson for three. No good. Morris the rebound. Morris tries to get away. Does. Morris bounce pass up ahead. And the put back follow by Brown is good. 45-25. The Frontier lead cut to 20. Six minutes left. Hoffman. This is over to Spirits. Spirits. Right side it goes. And driving through with the layup was Richter no good. Rebound controlled by East Hampton. Nate Morris playing with four fouls. To Owen. Owen, pull-up jumper at the foul line does not go. Rebound pulled down by Richter to Hoffman. And Hoffman will bring it up for the Red Hawks. Dehoff, timeout Frontier will take the break. 5.43 to go in the game. On the scoreboard, it's Frontier 45, East Hampton 25. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So after a relatively sparse third quarter, East Hampton Eagles are starting to put some points on the board and they've trimmed the Frontier lead back to 20. Donovan Hoffman to throw it in for Frontier. And he throws it into the backcourt to Spirance. Ein Spirance now comes back away with it. Spirance left side to Hoffman. Hoffman gets a lane, lays it up. Misses the shot but gets fouled on the way up. And if that's on Brown, he is done. See what they get. It's the eighth team foul, and that is Brown's fifth, and he is done. So Michael Brown will leave this game with five fouls, all of which were committed in limited action in the second half. The sixth man is giving it to him as he leaves. <laughs> Coming back into the game is Sabarin. Sabarin also has four fouls and are on verge of fouling out. Hoffman's first shot is good. All of his points have come from the foul line tonight. Kind of surprising given his ability to shoot the three, but long season. Donovan will get his looks. Second one does not go. Rebound pulled down by East Hampton. Owen Morse now loses control of it. Oh, and falling down and a foul as going to the floor to try and get that loose ball with Sparrance. He tripped up Morris. And it's going to be a one and one for Owen. Spearance has done a good job in the backcourt for Mashan, who was injured in the first half and has not been seen since. Looked like a back injury. Morris's first shot is good. Second half of the one and one upcoming. Second shot does not go. Rebound controlled by Hoffman. Donovan Hoffman now brings it up. Dehoff, no look 
on the right side to Richter. Bank shot does not go. Hoffman the rebound, put back. Good. So Donovan Hoffman has a field goal in this game. Lead back up to 22. 5-10 to go in the game. Morse, a deep three. Spins out, no good. Carry the rebound. That was Nate Morse. And Owen gave a bump to Spirance. And so Ian Spirance is going to go down and shoot one and one at the other end. With just under five minutes to play in this game. First shot is good. Experience will get one more. Second one is good. So Ian Spirance hits both shots. 50-26. Morse trying to get away from Spirance gets bumped. And didn't like that. And good shot off the glass by Nate Morris is good. 50-28. Now a little front court pressure. Broken by Spirance. Ian to Peter Carey on the left elbow. And three-point land back over to Spirance. Spirance calls the play. Bounce pass to Hoffman. Hoffman pulls it back behind him. Bounce pass in the baseline to Peter Carey. Carey shot no good, heavily defended. Gets the rebound back, lays it up and in. You can defend him only so much. And he has 24 points in this game. Owen Morse. Right side to Nate. Nate Morse, pull up jumper on the, on the top of the key is no good. Owens put back and no good. And Robinson got called for the foul. Not sure what he was clapping about. Owen Morse at the line. <laughs> we don't miss you is the chant. <laughs> First shot <laughs> by Owen Morris is good. <laughs> He'll get one more. We don't miss you. Time out on the floor will take the break. 3.58 to go in this one. 52-429. Frontier with the lead. Owen Morris' the second shot when we come back. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Owen Morris made his first of two foul shots, and his second shot is upcoming. Frontier has 10 team fouls, so in the double bonus the rest of the way. Owen's second shot is good. 52-30, 22-point lead for Frontier. Spirance now being guarded by Nate Morris. Ian Sparence now with it. Left side to Peter Carey on the elbow. Elbow. Carey. To Hoffman. Over to Haneski. Haneski. Back to Donovan Hoffman. Lobs it into Carey. Carey back out to Haneski. Haneski for three from the elbow. No good. Hoffman the rebound. Put back. They're not going to count that bucket, I believe. That was before the shot. I think. I'm not sure what happened there, but Frontier gets the ball on a fresh 30. Hoffman now with it. Top of the key. Driving through. Spirance got knocked down. No foul called. A lot of contact. Haneski to inbound for Frontier. Jake Haneski, the sophomore, throws it in. In the middle now to Donovan Hoffman. Hoffman. And Richter with a three, actually a foot was on the line, so that's good for two. So Sean Richter. And now he got a foul in the backcourt. And who are they going to get? It was Morse that got, got offended, it got hit. It's going to be on, again, it's going to be on Ian Spirance. So... Two shots for Owen Morris at the other end of the floor. Spirance has guarded him very closely. Getting ready to check in is Garrick Brindo for Frontier. 
Morris's first shot doesn't go. Brenda checks in, and Peter Carey will check out probably for the rest of the game. It's another solid performance by Peter, 24 points. Morris's second shot is good. So Morris makes one of two. Up ahead to Sperance. Sperance to Richter. Richter drives through to Hoffman off the glass and in. Good movement on the ball by Frontier. Morris now, deep three. Good. That's his first three ball of the game. And he's piling up the points here in the second half. Ball goes out of bounds. And I think this is going to be a foul on Owen Morris. It is his fourth. And we're into the double bonus, so it's two shots for Donovan Hoffman. as the 10th team foul for East Hampton. Hoffman's first shot is good. He'll get one more. Now coming out of the game is Richter. Checking into the game is D.J. Drajevich. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Dave Gachitsky set to come back in. Hoffman's second shot does not go. And it's going to be a foul as Collenbach went, Collenbach went for the rebound and got fouled, I believe, by Donovan Hoffman. So that's four on Donovan. And two shots for Collenbach on the far end. Colin Beck has five points in this game with a chance to make it seven if he can make both of these free throws. In front of the iron, no good on the first. Gabe is back in, so is Aiden Hernandez. Hoffman checks out, as does Ein Spirits. Second shot by Colin Back is no good. Rebound, no pulled down by East Hampton. Nicely done. And Morris tries to pass in the middle. It's stolen by Haneski. Haneski now running up the floor, being guarded by Colin Back. Haneski drives through, tries to feed the paint, loses control of it. And East Hampton gets it back. Nate Morris keeps it in play to Colin Back, who lays it up. No good. And Haneski comes away with the rebound. 2.20 to go in the game. 57-34. Aneski now, running the point, and he traveled right in front of his coach. So Colin back to throw it in for East Hampton to Morris in the backcourt. Morris now with it, runs up the right side, loses control as Hernandez defended him well. Aneski now up ahead. DJ, DJ on the baseline and shot up by Trigevich is no good. The feed actually came from Gary Brinda. DJ with the shot. Now Morris drives through, running one-hander, doesn't go. Put back, no good. Battle underneath. Sabarin hits the floor. And we got a foul. That's going to be on Brenda. And Sabarin, who has been quiet in the second half, hit four points in the game. This is the first. He'll get one more. His second shot is good. Makes one of two. Haneski now with it. Up ahead to Hernandez. Hernandez pulls it back. Back to Haneski. Haneski being guarded closely. Bounce pass in the baseline to DJ who lays it up. No good. Put back by Brenda is good. So Garrick Brenda's in the book for the first time. Calling back now on the baseline. Tries to drive. Can't. Takes it back out to Nate Morris. Morris. Top of the key to Sabarin. Back to Morris, to Sabarin, top of the key. Back to Morris. And now Owen with the jumper. No good, misses badly. Gachinski the rebound. Minute to go. 59-35, Frontier will win this game. Three-pointer is an air ball. 
Saber in the rebound. Nate Morris now with it. Morris to Sabarin, top of the key. Aims it back to Nate Morris. Real deep three. Way outside, and he hits it. It was almost at half court. 59-38. 21-point lead for Frontier. Hernandez, bounce pass to Rinda. In the corner is Gachinski. Gachinski's jumper misses badly. Put back by DJ, gets slapped on the way up. And D.D. Draksevich is going to shoot two shots here with 22.7 seconds left. And actually, that's a that's five fouls on Owen Morse. So Owen Morse is going to foul out and get the goodbye chant as Owen Morse is done for the night. He'll finish with 13 points. He will lead his team in scoring. It was a quiet 13, all in the second half. Only one three. Two field goals, and the rest were foul shots. Checking back in is Ryan O'Donnell. So Owen Morse, the homecoming to South Deerfield is complete. First shot is no good. He'll get one more. Second one does not go. So both missed. Shot clock is off. 22.7 seconds left. Up ahead. Three-pointer from the top of the key is no good. Out of bounds. Nate Morse lunges into the crowd. I don't know if that was for effect or what that was, but nine seconds left. Kaczynski to throw it in for Frontier. Bounces it in to Aneski. Aneski will dribble it up the floor and will probably dribble it out, and that is how the game is going to end. The final score, the Frontier Redhawks with a big win. And they spoil Owen Morse's return to South Deerfield as they defeat the East Tampton Eagles by a count of 59 to 38. Peter Carey led all scorers for the Red Hawks with 24 points on the night. And Owen Morse finishes with 13 to lead his team in scoring for the East Tampton Eagles. That'll do it for this broadcast. For Alec Echo and Megan Self and the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports, Kevin Murphy, I'm Chris Collins. Final score for the final time, Frontier 59, East Hampton 38. That'll do it for Red Hawk Basketball and Frontier Community Access Television.